How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. And boy do I have a video for you. This is a trailer a friend of mine had and he jackknifed it. He got it cocked sideways and jackknifed it and tore up the whole front end on this thing. So what I'm doing is I'm going to replace the front end of this trailer. Basically this box here and the railing on the front, the uprights in the front, not this one over here. I got one over there, one here, one here. Straighten everything back out and put new metal back on it. So that's going to be my project for the next couple days. Uh, let me show you what's all messed up here. Okay, this is a pretty good treat. You can see where it's actually pulled this weld apart here. And as it goes over, it crunched the box and pushed that piece in over here. Uh, it's pretty rough, but I think uh, we won't have no trouble getting this thing apart and he got me a new box He said it might be a little bit bigger than the old one So uh, we're gonna give it a try and I think he's got a winch in here that he wants me to Restring this winch and he's got it run through the box here a Little hole cut through the box so that winch could go out there and maybe pull a car or whatever up on the trailer so we're going to be cleaning this guy out and doing a little bit of work to it, getting this box off of here, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see if we can make it uh, look like new again. It looks like it might be tough, but I think we could do it. Now, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of everything out of this box. we got to get everything cleaned out so we know what we're working with here. That's what we're going to be getting rid of, all of this right here and then putting all new back on. What I'm doing right now is just trying to clean up all the, the weld and everything that's on there. That way we can get a good clean weld back on this thing. Alright, what I'm doing now is I'm just cutting off the pieces. I'm cutting all new pieces that's going to be mounted back on this front end to get it back to normal again. Hopefully it'll be normal. everyone I got the fan on it's kind of hard to hear in here I uh, hope you guys can hear me okay what I've done now so far is I just got all the metal cut and I'm tacking it into place so I can get it all welded up so probably by morning in the morning I come out finish welding it go ahead and get the box put on in the winch Well, we're out here this morning. We got it pretty warmed up in the garage. It's pouring down rain outside, which is a good job to do in the rain. So, we got everything pretty much welded up. I'm going to cut some of the corners. I don't like any sharp corners, uh, especially on a trailer like this. Uh, so, nobody catches their legs on them or anything like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut these sharp corners off. Uh, make sure there's nothing somebody can jab themselves with. Round them off nice. And uh, we're going to get this, what I did, I'm going to go ahead and touch it up with some paint because if I don't, it's going to rust pretty good. So we're going to have to get that uh, touched up good. And then we're going to start working on the box. We've got to get this box mounted on here. We're not sure if it's even going to fit yet, but I'm sure we'll make it fit if it doesn't. Alright, now that we got it all ground down, wire brushed, everything looks good, no sharp edges, we're going to go ahead and take a wire brush, go over all this, get the rust off of it, and any flux or anything that's left on it, or scale, and uh, we're going to get it painted up. Alright, 
I went ahead and primered everything up that I had basically put on because it's bare, pretty much all bare metal. So now I'm going to go ahead and shoot a little coat of paint on this just to keep it from rusting. And that will uh, preserve it until either he paints it or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and put a coat of paint on this just to make sure that it don't rust anymore. All right, you can see I got the paint on it. Don't look too bad. Sure looks a lot better than that old piece over there. Old crinkled, crinkled up thing. That was the piece that was on there. So we got it all back straight. It's all perfectly straight now. No jackknife uh, proof there anyhow. Now I did wire brush this uh, plate here down because uh, that's where I'm going to be putting the box and I went ahead and primered that and painted it too because there was a lot of rust on there, ground it down. And uh, it looks to me like our box is about 20 inches so it's just going to hit this piece right here. So we're going to have to do something with this thing, we're going to have to either move it up or something. I did notice on his jack. The way this jack is set up, it just clamps onto the side here. And uh, it's kind of looped over, it's, it's, it's closer here so it puts the jack at an angle out. So I'm going to see if I can change that and put the angle of the jack straight up and down. Uh, I'm not crazy about that thing being angled. So we're going to go ahead and pull this jack off and uh, and see if we can get it moved uh, to somewhere where it's uh, a little more straighter and permanent. So we'll see what we can do with that jack. All right, we got that jack out of there. It's all going now. We're gonna leave it out of the way right now until we get this box mounted. Once we get the box mounted, then we're gonna find out where we need to put this jack. We can get this heavy old box up. This is the box he wants to put on there. So, I'm going to set it down on there. Hopefully, we can make all this work for him. This looks like it might be a lot deeper box than what he had before. Putting that jack on there is going to be a little tough with this big of a box. Would have been nice if he could have got the same size box that he had before. Would have made it a lot easier on me, but we're going to see what we can do with it. make that work. we we'll just have to see what happens here. Now when you buy these boxes, they're, the bigger they are, the more warped up they are. So I have to clamp this thing in here to get it where I want it to sit. Otherwise, it's kind of bowed out in the back. It pushes it to the front and I need it back as far as I can get it. So I drew a couple clamps on here. Now, I went ahead and cut, when, when I was picking this thing apart, I cut the bolts off the bottom of this. So I know which bolt went through his um, winch and through the boards that were underneath of there to keep it the height. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go underneath here and I'm going to take a marker and mark out each hole that I need to cut in the bottom of here. Which I think there might be four, maybe seven or eight bolts. So, And that's going to bolt the winch down and bolt my boards down in there. All right, this is the box the winch was in, and the last time he had it hooked up, he had the winch pulled. It was actually pulling the inside of the box back, so I think I got a cure for that. Uh, let me let me show you what it got. All right, here. now this I already got the new winch mounted in here. Instead of using a big bunch of wood down in there, I just plated the bottom of this. That's all it needs to be done, 
is plated on the bottom. It's not going to give you any more strength having boards all the way across there not doing anything. So I just put the plate underneath there, wood, went ahead and mounted the winch plate back on there. And then up along here, instead of um, leaving that, pull that in, I made some uh, spacers out of some black iron pipe. So now this is really tight in this front end and it's still nice and square in there. Shouldn't have any problem with that winch uh, working. And if it's not going to be pulling on the box, it's going to be pulling on that big heavy plate down there. So now I got the winch all mounted in there. I got to start working on this. I need to work on his, this thing here, the, the, the jack. And the jack was clamped on there. And I don't think that's going to work anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to cut a piece of quarter inch plate. And I'd much rather just weld the plate on there because I think he can find these jacks every day of the week uh, with this bolt pattern. So uh, shouldn't have any other problems getting jacks for this uh, trailer. This is probably not the, a really good jack for this trailer. I think the jack should be through the center. You need one really through the center on this because this is a pretty heavy trailer but I'm gonna go ahead and do what he wants done and uh, we're gonna get her put back together here all right what I'm gonna do now is I got the measurement off of this jack I'm gonna go ahead and cut us out a nice little square of this uh, steel and we're gonna go ahead and weld it on the tongue Okay, right now I got the plate cut out. I'm just drilling the six holes that I need to be able to bolt the uh, jack onto. Okay, we got that jack on there nice and straight, nice and sturdy. We welded this plate on here and uh, got all the bolts in it nice and tight, like I said. Now, if he would have got any bigger of a uh, box, it probably would have hit the side of it. It's really close. Uh, see, now you have to turn the wheel down in the downward position, and it'll lock up. So, we got the bigger box on there. We got an upgrade on this. And we got all the front end replaced. And the winch mounted. So, that's basically... Uh, what I needed to do so uh, hmm I think it turned out pretty daggone nice well that just goes to show you if you jackknife a trailer you can put it right back together it's not really that big of a deal but uh, it's just a matter of getting all the old cut off and getting all new put on so I hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe leave me thumbs up thumbs down or comment if you'd like till next time